After you've downloaded the driver, it's going to be in a zipped format. You need to extract the files in order to install the new driver. Mouse over the file that shows a little zipped file and your icon may be slightly different than mine. It may be a folder with a zipper on it. Right click on the folder or on the icon and select extract files. When you extract the files, Windows will extract these into a new folder. Locate your new folder and make sure that there is no zipper on the folder. Double left click to open it and you should see two files. The first one will be microdog instdrv. Please double click on that file to begin the installation. If you receive a message from Windows asking you to allow this program to run on your computer, please select Yes to proceed. That will open the driver installation window. Depending on what is on your computer will depend on what is shown in this window. As you can see, mine says the USB drivers with the same version have, been, have already been installed. In most cases, if you're having dongle issues, you will see something like no driver installed in this message box. If you do not have a parallel port on your computer, which is for an older printer, please remove the check mark in your parallel dog driver options here. To install a new driver, locate the install driver button at the bottom of the display window. When you click on that, it will begin the installation. Once your driver has been installed, you will see a message in the driver status that says the driver has been installed successfully. Please click on the exit button to exit the install. If you have left your USB dongle in your computer during this dongle installation, please close the window and attempt to open your Generations or IDS system. If you continue to receive errors, please remove your dongle from the computer restart your computer and when the computer has powered up, place the dongle into a different USB port on your computer system. Please check that the USB port you are placing the dongle in does not have a blue post but instead has a black or gray post inside of the USB port. If you continue to have issues with your dongle, please contact our technical support department.